What's up friends? Just casually sitting in my mom's bathroom because the lighting is epic and I'm getting ready to make some of my Four Sigmatic Mushroom Hot Cocoa Mix. Cozy tea. Um, yeah, in the bathroom. I wanted to pop on and do a quick video talking about my five tips to succeeding on social media. What I mean by succeeding on social media is I get a lot of messages recently about people that are just starting out on Instagram, interested in growing their audience, connecting, maybe putting out some kind of product. I get some really good questions as well as some really stupid ones that make me just want to scream. Instead of answering individually and getting all fired up, I thought I would just make a video about it. Tip number one, quality over quantity. There are a lot of people that think that buying followers or buying likes will get them where they need to be. It'll increase their chances of growing their audience, getting all the engagement. Basically, you'll be buying into, you'll be able to buy the profile that a lot of people work years to get. But that's not necessarily true. If you buy followers or you buy likes, not only does it look bad, but it kills your engagement. It makes you look bad to companies because people can tell. I'm pretty sure you can Google. I don't know all the science. I'm pretty sure you can look up accounts and see what their credibility is and our credibility score, all that nonsense. It just doesn't look good. A lot of times you can tell. I've been reposted a few times by big accounts, like really big accounts. And I got so excited anticipating to maybe get some of their following because that's how I've grown from being reposted. And I ended up getting nothing. And I was so disappointed. Recently I was reposted by an account and I was expecting to get something from it and I didn't and I was just like, what the hell? I will say I was reposted by Best of Vegan for days, my account was blowing up. Most I've ever gotten though was when I first started out four years ago, I got reposted by The Good Quote, which has millions of followers and I got over 5,000 people. Like I could not even go on my Instagram, that's how poppin' it was. Tip number two, change up your hashtags. A lot of people think, oh, I can just, and I did this for a while, well, let me just type up my hashtags, I'll get all the best ones, and I'll save them in Notepad, and every time I go to post, they're ready to go, and I can just put them in. If you keep reusing the same tags, eventually, I guess Instagram recognizes that, and then eventually, your posts don't even come up in the tags, or you can have a chance of being shadow banned, which, I don't know if it's a thing anymore, but, your account could get kind of blocked in a way from Instagram so that you don't come up in the tags at all and the only people that technically see your content is your own audience, which is really lame. No offense to your audience. You can't reach new people. You can't... <sighs> Indigestion. <laughs> Ooh. It just really hurts your growth. And yeah, I can say recently, for example, I have been changing my tags on every single post and I keep my tags related to not just the post but what my page is in general. And this brings me to tip number three, which is keep your tags under 500,000. If you use the really big tags, the ones like that are very general, vegan, health, love, those have millions and millions and millions of people looking at them. Your stuff will just get buried. Nobody will ever see it. Whereas if you use a tag that's lower, and I don't think you should go lower than like 10,000. If you work between 10,000 and like 300 to 500,000, you have more of a chance of getting genuine interaction from real people that are actively searching through tags like what I used to do. And it just increases your engagement, your likes, all that good stuff. Tip number four, it's really important to interact with your audience, answer comments, talk to people, reach out to people. It gets you so far. A lot of people take that for granted and they don't answer their comments. Let me tell you, not only do you connect with people and you should want to, but it just, it helps because if you interact with them, they interact with you and you get this whole like conversation going and you meet a lot of cool people. And last but not least, because my camera is going to die, tip number five, be consistent. Post at the same time every day for everybody that's going to be different. 
I always keep my window between 3 and 4 o'clock so that I hit the west coast and the east coast. If you stay consistent, then your following will look forward to what you're posting and then it'll all be great and magical and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, lava, too hot. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is super quick. I can elaborate more another time. Please subscribe and if you're interested in any of the Four Sigmatic products, use my code rabbitfood10 and you will save. Yeah, bye. <laughs>